Hi everyone, time for an update on this major winter storm to impact Southern California. Unusual cold and windy already in place. An atmospheric river is expected to arrive Friday and continue into Saturday morning with heavy precipitation. Snowfall amounts over our mountains could be unprecedented in terms of feet of accumulation. Strong winds, Low snow levels, even though they will be rising, uh, significant snowfall, and then heavy rain for our coast and valleys expected Friday and Saturday. I added a couple photos here from 2017. One was the huge snow banks that accumulated up in Big Bear from the snow, and then another on the upper left was a swift water rescue that was in Marietta and successful. A lot of potential for impact in Southern California. Here are the key points. An unusually cold storm. So we've seen snow levels as low as 2,000 feet with accumulation overnight. Snow levels will be rising. Showers will continue tonight uh, into tomorrow. The main storm arrives on Friday and then lingers into Saturday. It's an atmospheric river this third storm for early Friday all the way through Saturday. We've already seen the coldest storm of the season with the temperatures and the snow levels. We expect heavy rainfall Friday and Saturday. That includes coast and valley, and that means heavy rainfall rates. The heaviest will be Friday night, but some of that rain will be heavy in Orange County as early as Friday afternoon. Now for areas further south, San Diego County, your heaviest rain will be midnight Friday night and Saturday morning. The unusually low snow levels um, will rise. Um, we'll see a lot of the snow levels get up to near 5,000 feet. Wind damage will occur, but blowing and drifting snow is a major concern, especially above 5,000 feet with strong winds coming in. Uh, we'll still see the large seas and surf, so impacting the beaches. The major snowfall impacts travel. It already has and will continue to deteriorate. Uh, we're looking at additional one to three feet above 3,500 feet, and we're looking for locally five feet additional above 5,000 feet. Big snowfall numbers. There's going to be areas of urban and rural flooding. Yeah, just too much rain at once Friday afternoon through Saturday morning. Also, we'll see significant rises uh, and potential flooding to our rivers. Now, for areas below 4,000 feet, that's where we'll see some rocks and mud debris developing on our highways. There are a lot of hazards in effect. Uh, the bottom line is mountains are not advised for travel. Blizzard warnings in the mountains primary impact from blizzard conditions, low visibility, heavy snow, fog, and high winds creating blowing and drifting snow will be Friday into Saturday morning. We're also looking at low elevation snow into the high deserts. Now on top of this there's a flood watch in effect. So the urban areas, all our major cities are at risk of urban, small stream, and even river flooding. The winter storm conditions are ongoing and will continue tonight even before the main storm arrives on Friday. And dangerous conditions continue across our ocean and beaches with high seas and continued gusty winds. The winds for the next part of the storm are going to be coming in from the south, so opposite direction of what we have been seeing. Why from the south? A storm system well, this is number three, is dropping down into the California Bight as shown here on Friday. This is a forecast of that storm. It closes off, it becomes circular, so it stalls along the coast, bringing strong southwest winds and tapping into tropical moisture. Because it's slow moving, the potential for the atmospheric river to be over Southern California for a prolonged period is significant. The storm doesn't exit until Saturday, so it's right on top of us Saturday morning. 
A lot of our computer guidance continues to show one to three inches of rain, uh, even for the San Diego area as shown here with an average around two. That would put us right up around our annual seasonal total. Now there's also spillover, and what do we mean by that? Uh, with the atmospheric river, there's a potential for not just showers, but significant rain Saturday morning, making it into the Coachella Valley and Borrego deserts. We'll have to keep a close eye on the San Diego River. We do expect low-lying areas to be flooded out, so travel around the Fashion Mall area is not advised. This will occur Friday night and early Saturday morning. The atmospheric river that we are tracking is actually developing right now. The main storm system or low pressure area in the atmosphere will spin along the coast and that will draw up the tropical moisture into Santa Barbara tomorrow on Friday. It slowly inches its way into Southwest California and slow is important because that leads to longer duration of heavy rain and snow. The atmospheric river is just entering the heart of the San Gabriel Mountains Friday evening. Then it'll continue to press slowly eastward overnight, bringing the heaviest rain to San Diego County and the Big Bear region, the heaviest snow, Friday night around midnight into Saturday morning. It really does take its time. By Saturday morning, February 25th, it's still pointed right into San Diego County and pushing up into the Cajome Pass, which is Riverside San Bernardino area. Not until midday on Saturday do we see it push east to start tapering off to scattered showers. I like to show this because it gives a depiction of what we just talked about, the duration of the atmospheric river. I labeled it in this rectangle from left to right. You can see it comes in initially over the California Bight, over our ocean, pointed at Point Conception, Friday morning. And then during the day Friday, it pushes into Orange County and Southwest San Bernardino County, the San Gabriel Mountains. And it takes its time staying over the same area for a long duration. And not until Saturday morning do we see a sharper edge where it starts to push to the east. Also shown here is the freezing level. It'll snow below the freezing level, which is 32 degrees. But since the freezing level does get above 5,000 feet, we expect the snow levels to come up with the warm part of the storm. And that'll be Friday evening and overnight before coming down again sharply Saturday morning on the backside. Precipitation across California is shown on the left-hand side. That's over the next six days. And you can see Southern California on the right-hand side. Not much change with this, but do note the largest amounts across our major cities, LA to Irvine, it's that Orange County LA Basin Corridor. The winter storm severity, so including the visibility from heavy snow, fog, the heavy snowfall rates, the high winds is on the extreme across all our mountains, including San Diego mountains, extending all the way up to the San Bernardino mountains and San Gabriel's. So we already see a closure on Highway 2 and the San Gabriel's, and we're gonna potentially see additional closures due to heavy snow and blowing snow Friday and Saturday. The threat for wind is real. We're looking at the red shaded areas, which is our mountain areas where the heavy snow will be occurring in significant threat for strong winds. But also note the coast on Friday and Friday night, also in an elevated threat for strong winds. That shifts Saturday morning away from LA and then over San Diego County as shown here. Here's a look at the wind gusts. This is the latest prediction of wind gusts. You can see winds are in the damaging category, but keep in mind over our mountains like Wrightwood and the ridges nearby, the Cajon Pass, High Desert, Lake Arrowhead, Big Bear, those areas above 5,000 feet will still be snowing. 
and still around 32 degrees. So major blowing and drifting snow. You can see those wind gusts painted across the coast. Those are between 40 to 45 miles per hour. And that with heavy rain can also cause damage along the coast like we saw in January. The wind's coming up from the south. We discussed this, but this shows clearly where the threat is for excessive rainfall in our urban areas and foothills. That will be Friday in the LA Basin into Orange County, and then that becomes widespread um, from the Inland Empire below 4,000 feet all the way through San Diego County as shown here. The threat for heavy snow, that exists across our mountains, especially above 5,000 feet. So that includes some of the mountains in San Diego. That includes the Big Bear area, the Idlewild area, and the Wrightwood area as shown here. So almost all of our communities above 5,000 feet experiencing heavy snow Friday into Saturday morning. Okay, here's the latest prediction of rainfall across Southwest California. The left-hand side is the intermittent showery activity that's expected to continue tonight through Friday morning. The right-hand side is when the atmospheric river takes over and that's where we see the majority of the heavy rain, large rain totals of one to three inches along the coast most areas seeing around two to three inches. And notice that spills into the Inland Empire. And also notice that because of the rain and the atmospheric river, some of the heavy rain makes it into the desert areas. The foothill areas uh, below the snow level, so below 5,000 feet, will see major rainfall uh, alone just on Friday and Friday night. So two different time periods here, tonight and Friday morning and then the main storm midday Friday through Saturday. Here's a similar depiction except for snow. So snow showers, especially over the mountains, will continue tonight through Friday morning. Additional snowfall over our mountains above 4,000 feet of 6 to 12 inches. A little bit more up around 7,000 feet. Some of that snow also affecting the high deserts. Now, when snow levels come up on Friday and Friday night, especially the heavy snow is less coverage over San Diego, but still above 5,000 feet as shown here. Another six to 12 inches may mix and change over to rain at Julian. Then at Idlewild, we also see the snow may briefly change over to rain and continue snow at Pine Cove. Big Bear Lake area, Lake Arrowhead, Running Springs looks like entirely snow with Friday afternoon and Friday night alone of one to three feet. Uh, and you can really see how the St. Gabriel's make up for the snowfall, not just tonight with a foot or so, but snowfall Friday into Friday night in the two to three, locally four feet around the Mount Baldy area. I can't think of many storms like this. I included some photos earlier of 2017. We had a really cold major storm with feet of snow in 2019. So those are the two for the snowfall um, of recent years. We don't look like we catch a break. At the end of the month, it's looking like the potential for another cold system with the best chance for precipitation the last day of February, early March to be Southern California as shown here. All right, here are the key points. Take a look at these again. Uh, look over those, especially the changes coming with the rising snow levels with the major atmospheric river bringing heavy rain on the coast and continued heavy snow in the mountains and the impacts associated with that. You can follow the weather at weather.gov and you can follow all the conditions including the current temperatures for determining a snow level, the current wind speeds, the amount of rain falling at the links provided here. Stay safe everyone. Travel is not recommended into our mountain areas.